Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, uh, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. 59 wins, going for 60 as Isaac. This is the next biggest milestone. Q1912LRR. I'm happy with every win. Ooh, that's pretty solid to start with here. Uh, oh, it makes us look awesome as well. I'm happy with every win, but they're not all created equal. 60 is important. It's symbolic. And I'm normally not the type to care about arbitrary milestones, as people know, but uh, 60 is one full month of no losses. That's something I never thought would happen, so there is a little bit more attached to this run um, than the average run, I suppose. Even the, the average run that is still contained within the streak. A little bit anxious here as we get a, you know, our sea legs underneath us, but this should give us a chance to get a spirit heart, and two spirit hearts is even better than one. So we'll try to hold off on picking those up, if possible, until we get to uh, the next floor. Assuming we're not at any risk of death, that should be relatively easy. Might pick up one just to hedge our bets on the boss fight, but for now I'm feeling pretty good. And Dead Onion, of course, you know, the, the shot speed downgrade kind of sucks, but the fact that you get uh, the piercing shots that also are spectral is is pretty amazing. And the larger hitbox, that don't hurt either. It's not a damage upgrade, though. It's like many people spammed me in Twitch chat and, and Rebirth comments and on Twitter, and they have informed me. That's what it takes sometimes for me to learn a mechanic, is, is to have people, you know, get up in my butt about it. It's gotta happen at the right time, though. You can't just get up in somebody's butt when they're not ready for it. You have to prepare, not just the obvious, you know, lubrication element, which is just necessary, but, you know, you want to clear out all the, all the ruckus that's in there before somebody gets their hand in there as well, probably. I'm assuming. Hopefully we can pick up another bomb, another tinted rock would actually allow us to get, like, the best of all possible worlds here. Dr. Pangloss style, if we could just get a uh, small rock, two spirit hearts, and dead onion, which is, in my opinion, a pretty freaking sweet-ass first item here. Uh, but I'm not going to complain about very much here. Even like a range upgrade or a shot speed upgrade is fairly meaningful. Just trying to keep myself behind um, the, the rocks as much as possible. Oh, you are a cheeky little bastard, aren't you? That went, <laughs> that went south sort of quickly. Um, not south, I guess. We took one hit. Let's not get over dramatic, but um, we'll take our one HP and be completely fine with it. Would love to have the opportunity to get enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Odds of it, mm, relatively low. Happy we're doing so well with keys, though. And uh, one more bomb. One more bomb. Mm, that's not it. This is going to be our last room, so hoping we either get a bomb or like two cents paid out. Three cents. And by three cents, I mean four cents. Apparently, my the arithmetic centers of my brain still back in the UK right now. That's all right. Two cents. We'll pick up our two spear. Oh, we'll try this out on for size quickly here. Uh, unlikely to work out for us well, but that's okay. And then we'll head down to the next floor with hope in our hearts that we have a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil. If we get a deal with the devil and it's good... And don't kid yourself, I would take Brimstone or Mom's Knife on this run. Did you see me reroll the last run? That, that buys me a, a Get Out of Jail free card. Um, we'll take it, and we'll have a lot of HP, and we'll have a lot of damage, and we'll get the 60 wins, and I'll celebrate mildly by eating a delicious Vietnamese soup tonight. That's my, that's my perfect uh, Tuesday here. If we can swing it. Oh, that was a little dangerous. I'm nervous because on the last run... I, the nervous is left over from last run. Let's put nervousness, I should say, is left over from last run. We found ourselves... Ooh, live bombs. Live bombs. Nope. Uh, bombs are key. I found pills. No bad trips. Ooh, amnesia kind of sucks, but not as bad as it could. Um, the last run was very, very risky. It worked out. Yeah, we'll take this too. But it was very, very risky. And I think we got a little lucky that it worked out as well as it did for us. But... Um, now we have the potential to forego all that scary Dr. Fetusy type stuff and, and just have a nice little, uh, you know, Sunday at the cottage type run. I would very much like to do so. I'd also like to pick up some more red hearts, to be honest with you right now. Uh, like, not heart containers, just hearts to fill my existing containers, because... Ooh, a little nervous there. Um, I don't want to... If we, like, lose HP, I don't want to put ourselves in a position where we could possibly die on the boss or be so hurt on the boss that we don't want to uh, take the deals with the devil as they come. That's pretty good. 
That bomb there does allow us to go back into the curse. Oh, this is a fucked up situation. We'll talk about this. You know, I gotta focus on this boss fight. Then we'll come out and we'll see what the hell is going on with this bucket of syrup here. Because I do want to play that, but at the same time, I really don't want to play it all the way down to the nub, fight the boss, uh, get hit once, and find myself possibly on death row, basically. So, let's just um, get our deal with the devil here that we've rightfully earned. Hopefully, it gives us some survivability or extra damage, and then, you know, the devil precedent. Mom's lipstick is not a prerequisite. We don't have to take it. I will take this. I told you. I said I was going to take it. Oh, lovely. That's very nice of you. Now we're in a, a very good position to play this and, and get some money out of it. Um, and, of course, this should be a win, but you never know what kind of rerolls are going to show up on this, this run that we have going on here. So I'm going to buy this. Nuns have it might be better. But I'm going to buy this for now. I'm going to come in here and reroll this. Came Cat and Nine Tails, which I think is a much better choice for us. We are going to go into our. Uh... Ooh, that's really good actually right now. That should allow us to get the Nun's Habit, and we are going to go into the Curse Room. And we're going to blow up that uh... that center chest again. Our hope is that it's worth. Uh... I'm very sorry, Donation Machine, but I'm going to do this to get Nun's Habit before we play the Blood Bank some more. Um, that way we can maybe get another reroll. Wow, that was actually very effective. Um, I hope that it's worth two spirit hearts for us to keep going into that room. It, there's a pretty decent chance that it isn't. This is somewhat unfortunate as well, because we won't be able to reroll that unless we take three more hits of damage, but we are going to take two hits of damage. Maybe I should just take a third hit to give myself the opportunity to reroll it. We don't know what this is either. Do you want to walk over this? I think that was worth it. And that allowed us to get a battery charge. Which we'll first take into our curse room. I'm getting too fancy with it. I can feel myself getting too fancy with it. Uh, and I, I don't want to put myself at risk of death. So we're just going to play it fundamentally smart here. Was this worth it? We didn't get hit on the way out. So I'm not going to say it was necessarily worth it. But we didn't lose out on, too much on it. We got 8 cents, so we'll probably use that to buy another Spirit Heart from the shop, because we did just sacrifice one to get in there. Um, Consumable-wise, it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with it. I also feel like before we reroll it, maybe we should do that, pick up 4 cents out of it. And then if we buy the Red Heart for 3 cents, we still made a cent on it. Oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> and I was like, I'm getting too fancy with it! Okay. Now we're getting real freaking fancy with it. We're gonna walk. We're gonna kill ourselves to get the damage bonus from Judas' Shadow. Then we're gonna buy the Spirit Art. We do. Let's not make the same mistake. We have Judas' Shadow. We have times one right now, so we can kill ourselves and come back. This is fantastic. I mean, our damage is gonna be like quite literally disgusting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look myself in the mirror after this. Um, Obviously, survivability takes a little bit of a hit in the process there, but this is certainly, um, you know, if there's a ballad of Judas' Shadow, it really has been proving itself over the course of this streak. I'm hoping that this is going to be an yet another triumphant uh, crescendo in it. That doesn't really give us an indication, but you can actually, you know, most enemies will die in one hit to Mom's Knife. Uh, the enemies, as soon as they're getting touched, seem to be dying. At least that one enemy, so it's maybe a little premature to... You know, start calling it already. But look, like as soon as the knife crosses them, it, it seems to be basically over for them, which is awesome. In order to do that special room... Hey, that's good. In order to do that special room, we are going to need one more key. This one <laughs> had to take uh, my brain, all of my brain resources there, in order to get myself out of that room without getting hit. Is this... It was probably not even worth it to look for that, or to get that, but I'm, I guess I'm glad we did. Yeah, that was that was dumb damage. And actually, I should be very scared, because I just noticed now we have Curse of the Unknown. Well, we have a lot of HP, or, well, we have a decent amount of HP and a ton of damage. Could be scary. So let's not let it, let's not give it the chance to be scary. I already thought we had the Parasite based on the color of our knife, but that was Dead Onion. Um, we want to reroll... We want to reroll the Parasite. Oh, that's pretty stupid of me. Let's just be honest with that one. Um, I, I would love to be able to use the parasite, but we can't. You know, we don't have the we don't have tears. We have a knife that destroys everything it touches in a single hit. Two bombs. 
I really cannot afford to use uh, one key on the golden chest. This is extremely bad. Because I need to be able to go to our shop and, and pick up uh, an extra spirit heart on there. It's looking actually increasingly dangerous. I uh, keep taking dumb damage because I'm an idiot. Definitely do not get hit here. I'm psyching myself out. That's alright. I, I just had to do it there because if I didn't, I was just going to psych myself out. It's like, you know, going off the high diving board in the swimming pool. You just you just got to nut up, basically. We should go back and, uh, and re-roll. But I'm not going to. And the reason I'm not going to is because I'm scared, admittedly. That was really nice. Um, these guys can... They can turn on you pretty quick. So we get, get ourselves set up between, like, some rocks here. Oh! <laughs> Little chub, help me! Hey, thank you. Alright, well, we definitely want to go to our shop. And have it not be greed. That's good. And in fact... If we can get Black Candle along with it, that's even better. And it looks like we will be able to do so. Uh, we've been punishing our donation machine lately. Like, it is not, it has not been fair to our fine friend here. Uh, but it is also the fuel from which we are generating a lot of safety and wins. So, I feel pretty good about that. We were in a bit of a scary situation. I don't know what it is with Mom's Knife that I always get lured into a false sense of security put myself in these situations. But I can't. Uh, I really can't. Like, take Guppy's paw here. I gotta try the reroll. I mean, a Horror of Babylon is so interesting here, but I I just can't do it. The extra damage would be nice, but I've, I've fucked up my HP too much. I'm actually really happy to have the HP upgrade. Or sorry, the speed upgrade is what I meant to say. I'm really happy to have the speed upgrade. I think I am gonna fight one... I'm gonna go through this to get one of those golden chests. Um, in the hopes that we get another key out of it can't do it as much as I would love to I'm committed to the absurdity but this is is not gonna happen unless I walk into it accidentally now I did a mom's knife run recently principal mistake on it I won of course but uh, not not trying to sound cocky it's just based on the fact that we're still on the streak of course it had to be a win um, I'm uh, my principal problem was that I let enemies walk into me too much we gotta not do that this caves one we're slow on this. We're about a minute slow, but we we should get faster, of course. Um, do you wanna do you wanna look for a second secret room here? Oh, that's real bad. Uh, okay, let's let's get out of here. I I think I've made my decision. I wish I had saved some more HP. Like, didn't take so much shitty, stupid damage, so that I could have taken Horror of Babylon. That would have. I mean, I'm not even going to say it would have helped out because we're in such a good position as is. Uh, but it would have killed bosses one hit faster, so there is that. But we're pretty much faced with like a carbon copy of our last floor here. We have exactly the same principal concern. Don't take dumbass damage and don't be a dumbass who takes dumb damage with your ass. So... We're just going to try to do better than we did last time. We have Black Candle, so we're a little stronger, we're a little faster. And we're much more survivable now. Also, that's going to give us even more damage. So good thing we didn't take Horror of Babylon, or Capricorn would have ruined it right there. Or would Horror of Babylon have ruined Capricorn? I guess it's a matter of perspective. I will fight Greed now, alright, if you don't want me to, that's okay, alright, as well. Um, Humbling Bundle, good pickup, great pickup. Starting to feel like this one is... If we can just stack up HP, Spirit Arts, then we're going to run away with it pretty quickly here because our, our damage is actually disgusting and, and stands to get even better, even though I ignored some damage upgrades on the last floor. We'll definitely take extra HP, and we'll reroll the crap out of that, and that is beautiful, and we even got some extra HP out of it. And let's see if we can quickly farm up a, uh, a second secret room here. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to head down to the next floor. We skipped a lot on this floor. But this basically allows us to take a skip instead of a step, and then we have a, a chance to, to farm the boss rush room. Invisible airways crackle with life. Something, 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 spirit of the radio. This is good. Pentagram's helping out. Again, when you get to the point where, like, pseudo-bosses are dying in one touch from Mom's Knife. It's fantastic. You know, James Murphy 
aka LCD Sound System, said one touch is never enough. He's wrong. One touch is definitely enough in this situation. We killed Ultra Pride so quickly we got the wrong payout. That almost never happens unless you're trying to do it. Now, we should be able to financially be in a really good position when we break poops with the uh, Petrified Poop and Humbling Bundle. I was very nervous that I was going to... It really has felt lately that um, Mom's Knife is going to be the death of me. We've been having these super, you know, nail-biting type Mom's Knife runs, but... Uh, it seems like we've probably pulled ourselves out of what, what could have been a potential tailspin, but might have just been, you know, a, a bit of an overreaction on my part to a little dip in the road. Hmm, interesting. Okay, alright. Reroll this regardless. That's fantastic. Anytime you get the mark, you don't even have to pay for it. That's good. Still no guppy uh, dreams coming to fruition for us, but anytime we can, you know, up our damage in this already ridiculous situation is going to be awesome. And we've had some really, really great runs for ridiculous damage lately. Like that last Judas run where we got like Proptosis chocolate milk uh, and all that good stuff before I rerolled it into Dr. Fetus Godhead. Like, the game has been on our side with respect to that stuff lately. A little bit less so with respect to our HP, but, you know, it's... The damage is the, the principal giver and taketh away -er. Scapular seems really good here. I still rarely consciously use this to, like, farm shit or break the game. Because it intimidates me, and definitely, you know, in the middle of a, a long streak is not when I want to be trying that stuff out for the first time, I'd say. But, I'm happy with this. We really, really need to start refunding our donation machine a little bit here. We will check that out as well. I'm assuming the gate will die in one hit. That's really encouraging for the future. And Jesus Juice for a decent damage upgrade associated with that as well. And uh, I think we're still probably fine with Petrified. Come on, come on. You get bonus points for killing with the a diagonal hit. Lucky Rock, you know, considering we have bombs and Humbling Bundle is going to be pretty nice for us. A little bit more reliable than our uh, than our Petrified Poop. So we want to be out of here by 16. Should not be a problem for us to get into Boss Rush, and if there's an item that's even half decent, we're going to kill things so quickly. We have to be a little bit wary about not taking damage. It's extremely important for us to not take too much damage on Boss Rush that we fuck ourselves over in the interest of making a joke. I think we should be fine. And we, we have so much time, we can do all these rooms. If we want to. If we don't want to, we don't have to. Imagining, like, the reason I donated there is because I was like, we're probably going to fight super greed or greed on our next floor. It's not a guarantee, it's not set in stone, but it, it's certainly conceivable. Alright, Cricket's Head. Let's just stack up ridiculous, stupid damage. I'm content with taking that extra HP there. I'm assuming we're not going to be at the HP cap when we leave. It's not a guarantee, but if we are, we are. You know, that's also good. It's a happy, happy uh, compromise either way. Ringworm Mom's Knife just doesn't work. Like, it's, it's not not good, it's just non-functional. Which is most of the time not good, but with <laughs> this might be a blessing in disguise, I guess. I'm glad our luck stat is good, but at the same time I'm getting a little sick of opening up all this stuff. You know, can you just give it to me in a lump sum instead of forcing me to collect it at the post office all the time? Well, we got 10-10-10. Which is the first six digits if you wanted to, like, order pizza from some place. I'm guessing. Always have the novelty phone numbers. Personally, I want to get uh, 6969, 696. Because it'll have multiple sixes and nines in it, arranged in such a way to be evocative of the sexual position known as 6090. In case you were curious about my machinations there. I think Boss Rush is pretty much going to be... Oh, that was so dumb. I hate that these guys get a period of invincibility. I don't know if it's meant to be there mechanically or if it's just some kind of vestige of, like, a programming issue. It's annoying, though, and that happens to me with surprising regularity. Such... To, like, to the point where you're probably like, you know, maybe you should learn to deal with it then. That's also true. You're not wrong. I'll take some personal ownership and responsibility for that. It's not the game's fault. 
We donated to the extent of our uh, capabilities there. Probably ended up with a net loss uh, on the donation machine on the run, but it also gave me the confidence necessary to succeed, and there's something to be said about that, isn't there? Just wanted to make sure I didn't walk on the creep. It's pretty short-lived, but, you know, so would I be if I didn't pay attention to it. And it's like the 25th run in a row where we've had starter decks, so... Devil Chariot is not a terrible combination. Mm, that was definitely an opportunity for a justifiable reroll, but at the same time, we are getting pretty close to our uh, to our boss fight. Chariot card, Chariot, Chariot, Suicide King. Why all the Suicide King cards here? Take Devil Card Chariot with us. Still got uh, a minute and a half before boss rush closes. We're definitely gonna have a crack at it if we want to. That is not gonna be our second secret room. This could be though. And Guppy. Ooh, runes are pretty good. Yara rune. Tower card. Definitely uh, Devil Yara. And Yara is going to be amazing for us. Even if it only allows us to get uh, eight extra or four extra items instead of, you know, endlessly repeating them. It's still super good. Plenty of time. Take the Polaroid. That is, again, another situation in which I probably should have taken the... Uh, Dark room or gone for the dark room. That's okay. I think I'm gonna take sacrificial dagger and reroll this. No, I'm gonna get ready to reroll the boss rush potentially. Um, yeah, I don't like any of these that much. The mind, I'm a huge fan of. So I think that this is the right call. This is a little bit of a moment of truth. It should be easy. Don't get me wrong. This should be a very easy uh, boss rush room for us. But it's extremely important that we don't take damage, uh, much of it anyway. And the mind will really speed up the run for us. This is not just a boss rush for, for joke's sake, you know, this is a boss rush that is actually pretty damn useful. Now I wish I hadn't taken the Eternal Heart because uh, Sacrificial Dagger is going to be a lot less useful uh, without permanent Polaroid invincibility. But again, this is probably a winning situation, especially with full mapping now. Uh, the ability to see all our secret rooms and secret rooms a little bit less valuable than just the ability to see where the boss is, I guess. But still, thanks for the extra money, I suppose. I'm not uh, tactically handling this in the proper fashion. We could probably be finishing this a lot faster than we actually are. Kind of surprised we didn't kill Fistula in one hit, but that's okay. Life goes on. There's still there's a part left. Oh, there you are. Oh man, that was. This is exceptionally satisfying to just be able to stand in the middle and be like, uh huh, uh huh. One dead, two dead. And to, to be able to kill Gertie in what is. I'm gonna count that as one hit there. Is really indicative of some incredible damage because Gertie is a tanky ass boss, man. So we're entering kind of like the, the middle period of this where I always forget what the bosses are, but it's the pin and the widow here. And then I think we have bloat after this next one here. Good save. Anytime you have high damage with, like, Mom's Knife or Brimstone, it's multi-stage bosses that are the most annoying. But this, even without Horror of Babylon, is, is some of the best damage we've ever had, without a doubt. Are we, like... Oh, the mask is still alive. Okay. I'm like, those, those bomb flies are going to be around for a long time, man. I have no intention of, of taking them out. I really thought that we'd be fine there. Whatever. We got our spirit heart out of it. Regardless, you're dead. You're dead, I said. Take that opportunity to kill him. I didn't even know that you were going to be there. Bomb flies didn't last till the end, but that's okay, too. And Butterbean! This has been showing up like crazy as well. All right. We're still only at 22 minutes with the mind. No curses possible. This is win 60. Because of win 60, man, we can't lose this one, basically. I don't want to get too, too cocky, but... Um, it's, it's extremely unlikely. Red chests are pretty much the only thing that I'm going to open at this point. Well, this is one hell of a room. I don't think I've ever seen this one. <laughs> oh, just bomb your way out, dog. Okay, that was potentially a terrible room. As is this, by the way. Holy crap, we made it out of there. It's just like, that last room was heinous. I don't know if you've ever seen that room. That was extremely bad, though. As was this one, but at least we uh, 
we've come through it. And again, we took a little bit of damage, but we should be fine. I didn't intentionally not take that bomb. I thought I walked over it. I would like to get some... Well, you know, we probably won't need the other two, let's be honest. But, uh... Not sure what I could get in a deal with the devil here, but I would... I would welcome the opportunity, at least. Please, thank you. Any enemy is going to be extremely easy for us to take out there. Wow! That's good luck. And let's take this way. But I'm not going to take the shortcut, because I actually do... That doesn't bother me at all. I actually do want to fight the... Uh, well, not fight, but I want to find the second secret room up here, just on the off chance that it gives us some kind of uh, spirit heart. Not sure if I want red hearts. We'll find out pretty quickly, though. Two of hearts. No. Lovers. No. Strength, no. Hierophant, probably yes. Or Emperor, Emperor, I think is really good for us. Emperor plus Yara rune is, is a combination that's going to allow us to get to the chest very easily once we beat Mom's Heart, and then make it work for us. Why not at least use the Hierophant card? Because I'm American badass right now. Basically, I'm lazy about it. Uh, we will, we will rock you. We'll take Dark Bomb. We could reroll those, or we could reroll the other items, but I think I'll reroll these, and it was probably not worth it. We don't really want the ability to fly. I mean, we do, but it's not worth the cost. I almost didn't see this tinted rock. There's like a dead pixel on my monitor. You get a convenient excuse, Northern Lion. It's the truth, though, man. Do we have enough keys in order to open everything? Yes, we do. Uh, this is the right w I thought there were two curse rooms there for a minute. That was a real smart bit of damage to take. I'm joking, of course, but Humbling Bundle plus Dark Bomb makes this, uh, again, pretty much unlosable if it were not already based on our unbelievable damage. Well, that's not very good. Alright, so the Emperor card we use in the Cathedral, beat Isaac, probably in like two hits, then immediately use the Yara rune on the chest, and probably just steamroll into victory in under half an hour is my guess and that's pretty it's pretty remarkable we're coming back with our Eden run next but you know the good thing about hitting all these milestones is that once you hit them you can never take them away probably not the best way to handle that but a very fast way to handle that let's be honest um, yeah you know you'll never be able to take away the fact that I will probably have a 60 win streak now that's cool that's meaningful uh, we're gonna Emperor and I don't really want to go stand next to Isaac, but I'll admit the temptation is there. One more little pseudo barrage should be able to finish the job here very, very quick. <laughs> this is a little faster than even I expected it to be, but that's Judas's shadow, man. So Yara rune. We got eight items. Let's do this. Pretty good. Not super good. Eh, it's pretty good. Good enough to take. As is infamy, but like. They're not necessary for success, but that's okay. Daddy Long Legs is awesome. I'm happy to have it. We'll reroll the other ones. Shielded Tears, Mom's Knife is pretty good. And we'll take the Poison Tears. The rest, you know, take it or leave it. We're probably not even going to come back to reroll them because it's going to be so easy for us to just finish the job here. Key Beggar would be awesome. Super Greed dying in one hit is also okay in my book. The most interesting thing on this run is definitely, like, I'm not tooting my own horn at all. It's that fucking weird room I've never seen before that scared the shit out of me, and if I didn't have any, have any bombs, could have just killed me over and over. Well, not killed me over and over, but hit me enough to kill me. So I can get my satisfaction. Sat anyway, you get the idea. We're done. That's win 60. That's amazing. Now I can no longer make the win because of win 60 joke. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.